because you're going to meet some of the most gorgeous pooches in the world. They are the stars of the UK's only Chihuahua beauty pageant. <laughs> That got, has it? Chihuahua. Chihuahua. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and here they are now. First, let's welcome Dottie and her owner, Kerry. <laughs> oh, no. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, look at Dottie. Hey, Dottie. Am I distracting you? Are you supposed to pose here? <laughs> Thank you, Kerry. <laughs> Sorry, I'm distracting. Uh, uh, in case you're wondering what that is on Dottie's back, that is a dress. <laughs> and she stands, look, and look, there it is, Ooh. there it is, very good. Very and we've also got Malibu and Coco, and their owner, Alicia. Here comes the girl. Oh. <laughs> she's gone. Go on, she's gone. Oh, please. <laughs> what's, what's, what's happened? Have we lost why, the dress? Why, Should I go and find Alicia, it? Alicia, why has <laughs> she not got a dress on? Where's she's the dress? She's oh. just stripped off. Oh, she did it. Slipped off. I can't believe she's... <laughs> Drinking uh, on live TV. Uh -huh. We should <laughs> oh, say she knew there. dogs were harmed in the making <laughs> of this segment. But, um, Thank you. Very, very good. So if that happened, get in the um, dress Terry, for you. in an actual competition, yeah. then I presume little um, what, what is that one called? Coco. One called? What? Coco. Coco would this be is eliminated. This would have been wearing. Well, actually, no. To no? be honest, it probably would make the judges laugh and get her points uh, on on confidence uh -huh. up. I mean, she came out uh -huh. nude. That's confidence. <laughs> so little offer. So little offer. So listen, uh, this is all, Kerry. This is you. You're a dog events organizer, and when you started doing these beauty pageants and whatever, you didn't realize there'd be such a hunger, such a demand for no. them. No, I thought it was going to be a small event. I genuinely thought we would sort of cap it at 150, 200 tickets, but we just weren't allowed. As soon as the tickets sold out, we had to sell more and more and more, and that was the very first event. And now, when I look back at that one. It looks quite pants compared to, <laughs> the to how we are thing now. always does. Yeah. Does the first... <laughs> but at the time, people uh -huh. thought it was brilliant. So what sort of event are you holding now? Like, this is, it's, as I said, it's become a, a very large thing now, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's um, this year, post sort of um, lockdown and things uh -huh. like that, I, again, tried to do it a little bit smaller and, again, wasn't allowed, so I had to sort of bump up the tickets oh and everything. Oh, my goodness, look at that one. Sorry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that, was our, uh, that was our fancy dress winner. Nice. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it, it wasn't our biggest event this year. Um, our biggest was Chihuahuas in Wonderland, which was 2018, which was about maybe 2,000 dogs. Oh, uh -huh. um, 2,000 chihuahuas yeah, in Wonderland. Yeah, Wonder chihuahuas Island. and chihuahua crosses. She's found the treat in my hand. Nice. <laughs> and, Alicia, what do you get out of this as an exhibitor? Um, so, this is just a bit of fun, really. And also, having dresses on them, it makes them more... It makes them more bomb-proof, really. Like, the, yeah. the way that they walk and sometimes... They can't, they're not the most confident dogs. Right. So coming to these events and having them with dogs their own size and not having to worry about bigger dogs, because they do get a little bit overwhelmed. Yeah, well, they're um, only so diddy, aren't they? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And when they go and they just, like, strut them, their stuff, when I go to the confirmation shows, um, championship shows and things, they just walk around extra confident because yeah. they're just so used to doing everything that they're just exposed to so many things. And, and do they, like, do they enjoy it? Because that's one thing I always, and we'll always have people that say that, you know, this isn't, this, a dog should be a dog. And I'm very much of you, there's, there's no way my dog would ever be as obedient, first of all, to just sit here on national television like this <laughs> without, you know, finding something to do. But I'm just not sure I could, that's not really an option for me. I've got a cockaboo and she's lovely, but I just, I, she wouldn't like it. But I suppose, <laughs> You you have to go with the dog, right? You have yeah, to go definitely. whether the dog is comfortable or, you know, whether they're showing signs of not wanting to dress up. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the, the pageant at our events is actually quite a small portion of the day. Right. We have lots of, lots of other stuff that goes on. So if dogs aren't comfortable in outfits or if they're not excited to put them on, mm -hmm. there's sort of no point entering them into the pageant because the main thing that they're marked on is confidence. Right. We don't say that anybody has to wear, like, a big dress. Obviously, there's a lot of people that sort of want to put their dogs in them. But in terms of whether or not that's going to do them any good, it will only help them score if their dog is 100% happy coming down. Otherwise, they'll get a low score on that, whereas a dog in a just a blingy bow tie or something could get 10 out of 10 on confidence in comparison. So right. uh -huh. they don't have to wear it at all. In terms of chihuahuas especially and a lot of other small toy breeds, they've got 
higher metabolisms and the low body fat, which makes them sort of shivery anyway. So without the dresses and stuff, they have to be in sort of jumpers and things in the winter. So mm -hmm. they get used to it. And for them, a dress is no different. So <laughs> it's just... <laughs> I just say she looks ever so chic. <laughs> That's the word. That's the word. Very uh, chic. But Alicia, you're a scientist, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, you're a woman of letters. Um, you, you understand lots of things. What about the communication? The smile is on the face. <laughs> really happy. With um, what about the communication between adult and animal? And adults, it's, a lot of it's just not about people. My wife's a perfect example of this, where she thinks our dog is a human. Yeah. And she likes we anything do, within, right? where an animal <laughs> displays human behaviour in, yes. in, in any way. There's probably a technical term for that. <laughs> I thought I'm not too sure right. <laughs> on the spot. But um, I think it's just a bond between dog and human. Yeah. Like, they love other people, but they'll always be all for me because I, I look after them. They, we go yeah. on long, muddy walks yes. together. They go and play. They know them. where their bread's buttered. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Did you ever think when you bond. grew up that you would actually be dressing up dogs <laughs> instead of dollies and things and entering them into competitions? Well, it's only maybe once or twice a year that they ever wear a dress. The rest of the time, they're either <laughs> yeah. naked or in, they're in practical So it's more of a jacket. fun day out. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Because I show um, okay, uh, competitively as well. It's just kind of a little bit of a day of <laughs> no pressure, just a bit of fun and just something a bit yeah. different, a fun show with a twist. But it, it, it's quite obvious you two come from a position of love on this, yeah. as I'm sure people who enter their dogs yeah. into the festivals and the competitions, because it must be just a very happy day. There must yeah. be all around <laughs> people is. smiling, because what I would say is that none of us will ever experience the love that a dog oh. gives us. I mean, it's just unrivaled. Yeah, it's no, definitely. It's incredible. So, so a happy day for a festival day out? Yeah, yeah definitely. It was lovely it after was brilliant. everything with yeah. COVID and the hot... Like, yeah, the particularly. We've had. Yeah. I was so worried because I was thinking, what if people aren't comfortable about sort of coming out? And I hadn't done it for so long either because obviously everything last year was cancelled. So I was really worried. But once it got to the day, it was just brilliant. I think I was... people are ready for escape, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I think, I think so at this and point. What When's better way to do that then? Uh, we haven't actually booked next year's date, but they will be back in 2021. Uh, we've got our Cheesemas event coming up in December, which we do every year, and they get a Santa's Grotto and a Christmas pageant as well. Um, <laughs> my of course they do. My granddad's actually Santa at those. Everyone loves Is he? <laughs> yeah. Uh, very good. Very, very good. Good for him. Thank you. And... Uh... It's Coco's dress back yeah. as well, Thank by you. the way. <laughs> I mean, it was quite... A, very Elsa. Like, oh, there, yeah. Are there Very shops awesome. that sell these? Are they like Chihuahua? Yeah, there's shops. shops and there's a lot of designers as well. So this one actually came over from America, from um, Roxy by the Bay Boutique it is. And our customers spend an absolute fortune on their dresses when yeah. they get them as well. This one well, was they, this, very expensive. I mean, they, they don't look cheap. No. no. Sure. <laughs> the uh, Kerry, very thank you very much indeed. Yeah. Alicia, thank you very much <laughs> indeed. You. And thank your little you. doggy friends, appreciate yes. it. Thank you. <laughs> they're, they're putting them to sleep there. They're like, no, oh, no, they've had a long day. day.